Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh. oh, sorry guys, I was just doing a little stargazing here. Wow, it's almost like it's right there. <laughs> uh, if you're like me and nowhere near even the amateur astronomer level, but you still like looking at the night sky, you've probably got a, a nice pair of binoculars or maybe a, a monocular or uh, even one of those uh, tools that uh, is made by uh, a company that allows you to look at a star, press a button, and then point down and then you can see exactly the star that you were looking at and those things cost five hundred dollars you can do the same thing on your computer for free well of course this is is not as exciting as it is going outside and looking at it through a pair of binoculars or a telescope but as I said it's free and the weather is always nice in front of your computer at least it should be moreover not only is it free I should say open source to use the technical term and that leads into this being available the software for Windows OS 10 and Linux it's called Stellarium and it lets you view the night sky well actually you can view the sky anytime day or night from the comfort of your computer screen and as long as you've got a big screen or I suppose it looks just as nice on a smaller screen but let me tell you oh this resolution is awesome have you ever noticed an object in the night sky and you really couldn't figure out what it was you knew it was a planet but you didn't know which planet well with Stellarium you could literally pinpoint the location where you're at any place on planet Earth point to a something in the night sky and w say well, what is this ah so it tells me right now in Seattle if I look in a westerly direction I'll see Venus very bright right now and Saturn as well but if I wanted to get a closer look I could zoom in and 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 whoa look at that you can see it's moving across my screen right now. Now this isn't a live shot of Saturn. Don't freak out. This is an image of Saturn. But it's moving because the night sky, the sky is always moving. Uh, we're not staying still here on planet Earth. We're constantly spinning around the sun and the sun is constantly spinning around the, the whole galaxy and the galaxy is spinning around, well, Lord knows what. So from here I can hop around and I can just browse the night sky. Now you can't really tell uh, from this particular vantage point of the camera, but I've turned on the ability to draw lines for the constellations because I know very few constellations in the night sky. It's very helpful to have these guide points. Uh, I can point out uh, Cassiopeia. I can point out the Little Dipper, the Big Dipper. Those are kind of givens. Uh, I know Orion. Orion's like the easiest one. Uh, oh, there's the moon. It even shows me what kind of moon it is tonight. And I can zoom out so far. And I can look at stars that are so far out there, you'd, you, you couldn't even see them with the naked eye. But you, you may not even be able to see them with a binocular. But it's got over 600,000 stars cataloged here inside Stellarium. Now I suppose I could turn off the actual animation, but I like a level of realism with my software, as real as I guess it can get with software browsing the night sky. This is the best product I've ever found. I mean, and certainly it's the cheapest, and it's, uh, as I said, it's available for a variety of platforms. If you're an amateur astronomer, you probably already know about it, but if you're not even an amateur like myself, but you still like looking at the night sky, this is the best way of doing it. Go outside first, take a look around, then come back to the computer, or maybe bring the computer with you and look, oh, well, that's where it's at. You can browse around, you can get a closer look. It's it's almost the next best thing to having a telescope. I, you know, it's. I know the, the, the correlation isn't perfect, but maybe at some point in the future we'll be able to tie in this live mapping with an actual live photo from a telescope somewhere halfway around the world. Stellarium's the name. Good luck with it.